initially we we kept everything free because you know that's a lot of times early consumer venture backed businesses remain free to capture market share and then they figure a business model out later um sometimes that works great other times that's not the right path and so you know we, we were able to build a good audience early in in the vr space um but as as the market started to shift and content started to, to dry up and people weren't making vr movies necessarily like there was really more attention to games um we started to have to think okay well what what's the actual model here and we can keep some of it free but start to introduce a subscription service and start to bring in not only you know some of these some of these vr films are 20 minutes long and uh you know really well produced 8k 360 degrees spatial audio multiple languages that there's you know substantial piece of content that are worth paying for there's just not a lot of it <laughs> and so as we started to introduce more traditional content alongside that with like for example wwe um, they created a bunch of 360 degree video but then they also created a bunch of traditional video i mean everybody knows wwe they have wrestlemania um, and then we even experimented with them with uh, AR holograms that we capped in partnership with saw using volumetric video. And so we had, we did it. Our content deal with WWE was 360 video, traditional video and holograms, <laughs> which is like a content deal that nobody's doing. <laughs> um, and I think people are willing to experiment with, but it puts us in this unique position as, from a business model perspective to say, we can introduce people to these things for free and give them a taste of it. Then do some of the harder, more expensive things. And, you know, even from a content perspective, even traditional content can be expensive. Um, put some of those things behind an actual subscription that start to get the flywheel going a little bit. It breaks the chicken and egg of, of uh, you know, we're not making any money on the content, so we can't spend any money on content. And that means we're not gonna be able to make any money on the content. It's like, so we were able to break out of that dynamic about you know 18 months ago, and it's it started to roll now as a freemium, you know, very Spotify for for uh, for TV kind of model.